Oh, hell yeah. Lightsabers and VR. Hey there, guys. This is Jetterell from Antibytes Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods into the new Fallout 4 VR, or rather port mods from existing mods into the VR version. Uh, I'm going to showcase this lightsaber mod made by uh, D Magnus here. Love it. Um, as the mod example. I'm also going to be showing you how to do it manually or how to do it uh, through Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, first we'll start with Nexus Mod Manager and if you want to do, if you want to see just manually, skip to the end. Now first off, I need to say a disclaimer that if you have a non-VR playthrough of modded Fallout, uh, 2D Fallout game uh, installed right now, then this will not, it, it will, the Mod Manager will mess up the mods. So Make sure that if you are doing a separate playthrough on the normal game, you use the manual method or else your mod list might get ruined in Mod Manager. Now first you're going to want to install the Nexus Mod Manager from Nexus Mods. Uh, just go here and click the link. I'll include it in the description. Download the program. Once Nexus Mod Manager is downloaded, you're going to want to start it up. On a fresh install, it'll have a screen like this where it's scanning your program, your computer for games compatible with it. Stop the searching and go to the Fallout 4 version. Browse for the file path, which is often in your Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Fallout 4 VR. Just click there at the top level folder. It'll give you the throw of this error, it doesn't contain an exe file. You're going to want to hit the green check mark. Crucial here, a lot of people forget that. Hit the green check mark. Doesn't have XE. Use it. Okay. Path is set. Hit OK. Start it up. Now, next is Mod Manager. This is what list of mods I've already created. It'll have an empty thing here. It's now set to point to this folder. So, when you download a mod through the Nexus Mod Manager, it automatically installs it into the data folder for you. So, the next step, now that Nexus Mod Manager is set up and pointing to the right directory, the next step is to download the mod. So, if you go to the file list of a mod you want, do mod manager download on the two on any of the files you want, and it'll pop up on here as they're downloaded, and then it'll pop up on the list of downloaded game of downloaded mods for you. Once it's on this list, you're gonna want to hit up here. There is a green check that installs the mod. And once it's checked, that means it's installed, meaning it has been put into this folder for you, in this data folder. It's simply just a program that extracts the folder for you. So if you know what you're doing, you don't need to do it, but it's a good way to collect, to uh, visualize the mods you have and see what they are. Um, you're not done yet, though. The last thing you need to do is manually edit the plugins file. Now, Nexus Mod Manager automatically edits the, pl the plugins file for you, but... It doesn't recognize that it's a VR version, so you're going to have to do that part yourself. Now, you're going to want to navigate to your app data folder. Percent app data percent is a good way to get there, or if you know other ways, there are them. Go to your local folder. Now, when you install a mod with Nexus Mod Manager, it puts it, its plugin file here in the Fallout 4 version. You can see in this plugin's text all the mods you've listed, you've created here. So, not all mods will have an ESM or ESP file. Only the ones that have those or get put on this list. Some mods won't and you can just straight install them right here and then you're done. If a mod you have installed has an ESM file or ESP file, you're going to want to come here to the Fallout 4 folder and check it in the plugins file. What you're going to want to do is copy this and then move it to the Fallout 4 VR file where you place it here and you prefix them all with asterisks. This is necessary for the VR version. I can't remember why I saw it earlier. All the extra mods that are not the base game need to be prefixed with the asterisk. So now that you've done that, you've installed the file, the mod with Nexus Mod Manager, and you have alerted the game that it has been plugged, that it has a new plugin for it. That is all you need to start the game with mods. Um, there is a spreadsheet created by a couple uh, VR users that lists all mods that have been tested and proven to work or not working a link to that spreadsheet will be completed will be added in the description as well as a link to a vr modding discord now if you wanted to download and install manually it is also very simple if you don't trust nexus mod manager or you have your own playthrough that's up to you so do the manual download of a mod and you'll download the whole archive 
Once the download is done, you're going to want to open the archive and extract all of the files in it to the data folder here inside of the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout VR folder. Move it all into here. Once you've done that, you're still going to need to edit the plugins folder inside of the app data local Fallout VR folder. If there is no plugins.txt file in this folder, you will need to make one yourself. And inside of it, you need to list all the ESPs or ESM files that have been added by you. This, this mod uses an ESP file. So you must add a line starting with an asterisk, asterisk that lists the mod added. Once your plugins file has all the new mods that you've added, you're good to go. That's it. One last thing that might be necessary. Uh, this was necessary in the old version, in the original Fallout. It might not be necessary in this one, but it, a lot of people do it. Inside of your My Documents, My Games, Fallout 4 VR, there is a Fallout 4 custom.any. You're going to want to copy this three lines of code into it. Um, it is recommended. I'm not sure if it actually is necessary, but it doesn't hurt to add it. Hopefully this video has helped, and hopefully you will contribute to the list of ongoing mods that work for Fallout 4 VR, and I hope you enjoy your time in Fallout. Later.